Hey folks, back with another video. Let's dive into what stories caught my attention today. First up, Sky News investigation has turned up evidence of a potential war crime in northern Yemen by the Saudi-led coalition. And this is backed by and this coalition is backed by the US and UK. Now the Sky team traveled to a small town of Washaha in northern Yemen near the Saudi border. Now I will not go into the details of the Sky investigation and the horrific incident and the horrific evidence that they have uncovered, but I would say that the whole war is and it was illegal to begin with and is illegal. And I would urge the international community that they should unanimously condemn the Saudi Arabia. And it is important to conduct an independent investigation into the potential war crimes happening in Yemen. In fact, every crime that has happened in Yemen. And end the war in Yemen. Find a peaceful solution. The international community should force a peaceful peaceful dialogue to end this, in my opinion, a useless war. From one war to another war, tensions between Armenia and Azerbaijan have flared up as the two countries are battling onto a second day over the disputed territory of Nagorno-Karabakh. Now, both sides have accused the other side of using heavy artillery. As of yet, hundreds are wounded in the conflict, with 16 soldiers dying yesterday and an additional 15 dying today on the Armenian side, as per Interfax. While Russia and China have urged both sides to show restraint, Russia went so far as to call for an immediate ceasefire, while Turkey came out in support of Azerbaijan. Personally, I would urge both countries to sit down and settle the issue diplomatically, but I guess politics will dominate. Moving on. It seems the U.S. may have its hands tied behind its back with respect to Taiwan. Now, U.S.-China relation was apparently founded on recognizing Taiwan as China's internal issue and the promise by China that they would strive to resolve the issue peacefully. Now such a vague worded deal makes US action in Taiwan and as aggressive. However, I believe that US may have a way out as I will explain in the next story. Now, in recent times, under Xi Jinping, the Chinese Communist Party has reverted to its root of repressing the people and their freedom in, for <clears throat> in pursuing its policy of Sinization of the region. Now, Xi Jinping is giving the international community all the reasons they need. And I would urge the international community to force the Communist Party to stop practicing such horrible practices and demand that they apologize to the Chinese people and to not engage in tyranny against them in the future. And finally, Iran's currency has fallen by 49% in value. While no doubt the U.S. sanctions have impacted the economy, however, the Iranian regime has also exacerbated their economy's worsening. Now, a gold coin weighing 8.13 grams has changed its price from 64 million rials to 133 million rials between May and now. Now, such a fall is due to I believe the Iranian government printing money. And of course, this is what happens when the government tries to manage the economy. They constantly 
miscalculate. Now, comparison can be made of Iran to countries such as Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and Russia, as each country has had to face difficult situation, from sanctions to war, and yet have managed to have a single-digit inflation. It is clear that the Iranian regime is worsening the crisis. That's it for this video. If you like the video, then hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for future updates. Write in the comments your thoughts, criticism, and anything I may have missed. And I will see you in the next video.